<laughs> All right, testing one, two, one, two, Rahul back. Hold on. All right, Rahul about you. Sorry to get the headphones untangled. Welcome back, Banger Monday. It's on tonight. All right, let's get straight to the hatab, man. Let's get straight to the culture. Well, we got a bang tonight, for real. All right, uh, Rahul about you. Saw and I fear I'm on Rahul back. Uh, Rahul Bat, hold on a second, you saw Rahul Bat, Nafira Munreye, Pananza Mut Kawun, Pa Satanza Mut, M Kabut Thalu, Wahanza Mut, M Yaba Athu, Shamut, Shamut, Athu Afu Sabo Ashu H A. It is the sixth day of month three, first day of week two. Uh, Rahul Bat, Kamsure, what up with it? Nothing much, family. I uh, sent the link to Jesser and uh see him shortly it is what it is i want to get right to it man um well not necessarily with you but there's a lot going on and mm -hmm. i gotta get to these yeah and so far as the master teachers freedom man and uh fucked up you know but uh let me let me get to this mm -hmm. uh this was put out by attorney broussard the law office of victoria e broussard sentencing sentencing expert finally hired and providing mitigating factors in York's case. July 31st, 2017, Malachi York's clemency application is still pending, which is great news. Please share the message and push even more for even more signatures. Every person makes a difference. To that end, I, Attorney Broussard, obviously, hired a sentencing guidelines expert to review the pre-sentencing report and sentencing of Dr. York's case. She said it was one of the most complicated she had ever seen, which wasn't a surprise to me. Although Dr. York did not go to trial, he technically would not receive any reductions under acceptance of responsibility. However, in mitigation, the point should be made that he did accept responsibility from the onset and pled guilty pursuant to the plea agreement he made to have the alleged female co-conspirators released. Per the initial plea agreement, <clears throat> he was to receive reductions for acceptance of responsibility. But for the rejection of the plea deal by the court, he would have received credit for acceptance of responsibility and probably would have served only 15 years had the plea been accepted by the court. His term of incarceration would, be, would now be over. Please help me get the fourth clemency package to the White House to incorporate all the expert provided. Thank you for all you have contributed to the Dr. York legal fight. Let's keep pushing until we bring him home. All right? so. For more information on that, go to change.org, attorney Broussard, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Uh, Ambassador York has been putting up some things I would like to read. They're a little bit lengthy, so I won't go into them right now. I'll read them a little bit later. All right. So um, what what you got, Consul Ray? Let me let you get yours in, man, because I know you can't be with us long tonight. So go ahead, man. As far as what? Oh, I thought you wasn't gonna be on on the show long tonight. So, no, I'm not. But um, I ain't have anything, anything specific. Okay. Nah, I'm just you know I'm just here, you know um taking questions of course in the chat room. Uh, oh yeah. You know. I'm also just tuning in. The <laughs> no, right. I'm seeing it. Yeah. There's, there's people chatting in there. Oh, uh, Rahul, let me give a uh. All right, let me see. Let me know if I have to eat a few people, man, because I, I, you know me, I ain't got, I ain't got the patience for that. So, let me see here. Yeah, if you if you mind during the chat, let me know if I got to eat the nigga. Nah, so far so good. We got um Manuapolis. It's in the all chat good. Room, so. It's all good. It's mm -hmm. all good. Uh, I'm looking for my shout out around Rahobat, uh, Delamar French, Rahobat, my Ahre, Rahobat Satak, Rahobat Kinsu, Rahobat Mustafa. All right, now. Uh, uh, this is the response, right, that I wanted to get in with, um, to Garfield and the Sarnetta thing, um, 
Yeah, the Garfield song had a response to. Oh, yeah, to Tariq Noel. I forgot what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Tariq ain't no real big news for real, man. He's just. He's a soap opera dude, man. He's a drama queen. I say that literally. <laughs> All right. But hold on a second. I'm looking for my. There it is. The Glock Automatic. Hold on one second. Let me get a little bit more lighting. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I had to get a little bit more lighting. Stuff we went over already. Yep. Now, but here's my point, right? Now, why do they call this Garfield dude the Dagger Squad? That's my first question. You know, let, let me look up Dagger right quick. Because I, I got to break this dude now. Like I said, every, a lot of things are in, in the name, right? And um, I, let me bang this shit. Or... Yeah, well, I thought he had. I thought it was. I wouldn't say. I thought he didn't think it was his name. I thought it was more like the uh, the the name of the organization he's affiliated with that he created. Yeah. Whatever. Well, I don't care what it is. He 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 repping it. So what does dagger mean? I had to look this up. It says noun: a short knife with a pointed and edge blade used as a weapon. I guess he gets straight to the another. The dude well, dude. another term or. <laughs> Or obelus. I don't know what obelus means. A monk, a moth with a dark dagger shaped marking on the forewing. Could that mm. mean, could be the definition of dagger squad? Uh, he's a moth. Because <laughs> that's what they come in like a bunch of moths, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, obelus. O B E L U S. Their definition is a symbol. Like a cross, it looks like used as a reference mark in a printed manner, or to indicate that a person is deceased. Also called dagger. Hmm. Dagger squad can mean that these niggas is deceased. They dead. <laughs> oh dang. Well, yeah, dagger squad, death squad. They they walk. They're the walking dead. It could mean that, according to the English language. I'm just reading what the English language said. That's why I say you got to look up people's names, man. You got to get into the names of what these niggas say they represent. All right. A mark minus or division used in ancient text to mark a word or passage or spurious, corrupt, or doubtful. Mm. Now, that's interesting because that these definitions to me tie in on what these niggas represent. All right. This is what I'm talking about, right? Lord Abbott said that they wasn't throwing daggers, they were throwing butter knives. I fell out when I heard that, right? Because when they when they, and he was debating Lord Abbott, he was like, man, those are butter knives. I don't even give them butter knives. I give them niggas plasticware. Yeah, some of them like plastic we, joints is kind of sharp. They give you some paper cuts. I can't right? tell. Yeah, man, all they good for is cutting up Jamaican food. Whenever I go Dang. to the curry restaurant, whenever I go to the island restaurant, whichever one it is, I eat at a lot of them because they all cook damn good. Uh, you know, they give you that plastic wear. You know, he ain't even worthy of being called the plastic dagger squad. I mean, because they want to go in and, and, and try to ask Prince York all the tough questions. I'm going to get in his shit tonight, too. And, um, yeah, because I'm pissed at him right now i had to i had to pause for a second <laughs> wait, wait who are we talking so about prince york he family he my brother i love him i had to block him on facebook because mm. he on my nerves right now i see i don't play with people see to me only one. like like african man <laughs> born said the other night right i'm gonna digress for a minute he said don't play with people with these negative people on facebook now i'm not talking i'm not associating with this prompt we just brothers you know what i'm saying i'm big brother though you know what I'm me? Whether I'm not his blood brother, he got he got enough blood big brothers. But as far as the, in other words, if the shit hit the fan, it, I, I'm a ride with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna never turn my back. Just like with my brother Consul, Consul won't be known to me and him fight all the motherfucking time. Me and Consul can't stay together for long. But I love him. <laughs> he my brother. He my brother. That's my point. What, what a couple like Shia was telling me, another moment me known. He was telling me, look, man, no matter how much me and Consul fight, at the end of the day, we family. And I ain't understand what he meant. I said, why you just, you know, just that? He's like, man, we family. He said, that's just how it is, man. Now I overstand. 
So with Prince York, we family. I just block him on Facebook because I don't want to hear that shit no more. But I could always call him if I really needed to holler at him about it. That's what I'm saying. Facebook ain't the only method of means of communication. It's a ways of means of communication, not the ways of means of communication. That's why I say, mother, you, fall, you block a motherfucker on Facebook and y'all just decide to stay away from each other on Facebook because of the bullshit and everybody think, oh, you hate him. And it's, no, that's, that's not what it is at all. I just got a disagreement with that man right now. But we family. Why? Because it's about the math that teaches freedom, which is part of where I want to go why it's too much negativity. But getting back to this Garfield and this dagger bullshit. They want to ask Prince York all the so-called difficult questions, right? But now neither Sonetta nor Garfield, when they really get down to the nitty-gritty hardcore parts of journalism, right? They don't never ask the uh the hardcore questions. They did not. This is the second time this Tariq Noel nigga, this drama queen, was on Sonetta, Sonetta TV. I thought. Yeah, saw nigga TV, right? And they didn't ask him the question. Fuck that. He ain't take the he ain't take the challenge. How Sarnetta took the challenge and responded to my Eater Five was putting Tariq Noel on there. He think he's slick, he not. He playing chess, but in another way. Well, so am I. So saw nigga TV to me. Uh, they didn't ask that man, right? Yo, well, in fairness, they did ask him. Few decent questions, but the dagger question they didn't ask. Say, hey, yo, um, why didn't you go to the hospital? None. Garfield didn't ask none of that. They were so the Garfield so anxious to slander Doctor York. He didn't. He not in the journalism to get to the truth for the people, like he said. He just into slandering it because because Prince York beat his ass on national television. Now he got his he all up in his island boy feelings, and he can't take it. Rasta man ain't he ain't really hard like Bob Marley. He really not. I think Bob Marley would have asked questions to get to the truth. Dagger Squad don't do that. Plastic knife ass boys. The plastic knife boys. That's what I'm gonna start calling them niggas. So they they didn't ask Tariq Noel, yo, why didn't you go to the hospital? Shouldn't there be a hospital for it? Because once again, if they did their research on the case, Tariq Noel said in, a, in an article. Right, that he was bleeding profusely out his behind. Okay, this is what the man said, or the drama queen. I ain't got no respect for him as a man no more. He's a drama queen to me. So I'm gonna call him that. The drama queen said he was bleeding out his behind. So with that being said, right, you had to have went to a hospital because how you gonna say a 50 year old man, right, had sex with you and Let's say 10 other people every day for nine years straight. Write over a thousand books, go out and teach hundreds of people, at, especially if you say that shit started in New York, question and answer class, whatever, whatever. Follow that. How you how, how he had time to do all that? It's not physically impossible. Shabba Wrights ain't got that much stamina. My point is that. How you going to say he got all this stamina and energy to do this and no proof? So I got to read something again. For those of you who do not have it, please get this book. My Brother, the Extraterrestrial, right, by Kamantet Tawarwet. This is a very profound book because it gives you the information, right, and all these testimonies of these so-called victims. Deep stuff in here. But this is the one, you know, a uh, subpoena Sakina Parham is up in here. Uh I, I uh, Louise Eddington. Here it is. This is the one uh that I wanted to read. This is by Barbara Noel, Panama. She says, When I became a part of the organization in 1986, my baby son started to have loose bowel movements all the time. This is David because he's the oldest one. Follow that. By the time we took him to, to a doctor, stop, stop. There it is right there. Stop, stop, stop. By the time we took him to a doctor. So if you could take this nigga to the doctor for di what is that again, diarrhea? Don't sit here and tell me you're gonna let your son get pumped up the behind every day straight for nine years and he said he was bleeding profusely. 
and didn't go to the hospital for no stitches, nothing. Who healed him? How, how, how did he get the bleeding to stop? He would have lacerations and cuts. He would have been infected. But this, that, that, that Dagger Garfield dirty boy, that dirty island boy there, didn't ask the questions like that. He ain't seeking the truth. He's seeking the slander. If he was seeking the truth, like he said, for the people, this is for the people, for the truth. All that there, rude boy. Why didn't he ask the questions? Yo, nigga, where's the hospital report? I, I don't even need to go on. And dig this. He was sent for blood tests to find out what was wrong. Stop. So if he was sent for blood tests, that means he had a medical examination. You mean to tell me a doctor wouldn't have known anything that was sexually wrong with him? Come on, man. Come on. Not to mention, so, so he's he's sitting in the hospital bleeding, right? Because he got his examination, he in the hospital, right? So he's sitting there bleeding from the behind, sitting comfortably, mind you. <laughs> very comfortable. And yeah, sitting very comfortable from that bleeding behind. And the doctor not notice that the boy is not sitting comfortably or, or you know what I'm saying? Not not realizing anything's wrong or the mother not realizing anything is wrong. I don't know about that, all that. That's what I'm screaming, <laughs> man. I don't know about all that. But see, but my point is that in the sake of justice, you follow what I'm screaming? In the sake of justice, Sonetta didn't ask that question. Now, now, yeah, I know Sonetta be listening to the show. I already know. So, Sonetta, when you hear this, nigga, why don't you ask Tariq Noel that if you really on the justice side for the people? See, I'm, I'm attacking Sonetta's journalism. If he, if he noticed, I don't never call Sonetta other than a nigga because we all call each other niggas. Right, so people shouldn't get bent out of shape about that. We call each other nigga every day, street level. So stop with the whining about that, the nigga word. I don't want to hear it. We say it to each other every day. If you're really so pissed about it, don't use it in rap music no more, and that'll impress me. So as far as disrespecting his manhood or his family, whatever, I don't go there. I'm just dealing with his journalism. That's it. I don't know Sonetta. I don't give a damn what, 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 what greens he drink, what food he eats, what clothes he wear. None of that's my business. I'm only dealing with his journalism as it respect comes to as far as dealing with the Nuwapia Nation. Like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, he needs the Nuwapia Nation to pump up his, his, his station, whether it's negative or positive. And he went, he, you know what I'm saying? Like I can say, he could be the neutral party. He's neutral because in the laws of neutra neut neutrality or neutralism, whatever they want to call it, he fits it. He's neither yay or nay. That's neutral. Hey, I, I can't get mad at that. But I can't critique the journalism. And so far as saying, this is what you missed on the facts, homie. Why didn't, why don't none of, and Tazariak don't act in that they so looking to get a chance to slander that they don't ask, yo, nigga, where's this hospital reports? I, I interviewed Tariq on my show. That nigga, that nigga, I asked him about the hospital reports then, did I not? And yeah, you mean to did. tell me it's over a year or however long it's been, still no hospital report from Baldwin, Putnam, Jasper, Newton, um, uh, Gray, Bibb, Sparta, Dublin, Macon, Madison, Athens, all these, uh, 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 Covington, Monticello, you understand, Jones County, all these around Tamaray, and no hospital reports in they one of them. Now, all these little research experts and all this bullshit, they don't, they don't want to do the research on that to confirm nothing, but they ready to do the research to, to, to figure out other ways to slander. Sorry ass niggas, and and I'm not having it. <laughs> I'm not having it. You understand me? So no. Um, that's the response, man. I got other shit to talk about. Unless you want to chime in on something, man. You know what I mean? All I say is that uh, Sonata TV Black News 102 always does a piss poor half ass job, with the exception of the sisters. 
Uh, and let me uh Rahul back, Jesse. What's up with it, man? Rahul back, Rahul back, fam. Uh, one second, fam. Um, yeah. Um, now let's get this straight while it's on my mind. Our Nuwapian sisters are not queens. Save that title for your own women. I don't give a damn how you mean it. Queen means whore, madam, prostitutes. We don't we don't have whores, madams, and prostitutes. We have goddesses. If you want Gadad Tat, we have Zazaz Tattoo. That's women. Nathar Tat. We don't have queens and kings, and, 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 and that ain't what we do. That's Inglesi. Y'all niggas want to stay up under the spell of the Inglesi Lahaj. Tem Anun. All right? So, just wanted to make that point clear. Keep the queen word to yourself. That's y'all shit. We don't need it. Uh, Rahul Bad Jesser, man. Chime in, man. What's good, man? Rahul Bad, Rahul Bad. This is Jesser Ray. Jesser and Ray. And Petty as well. Uh, well Rahul Bad. Peace. Peace, you guys. How y'all doing? Peace. Cool. Yeah, um, we definitely wanted to chime in with us, you know, share, love, share information, and definitely, um, y'all sound hollow, man, and y'all sound echo. You said we sound echo and hollow, a little hollow. We're on a uh, computer, a laptop. I'm not sure if that's what's causing the. In no, the sound. probably because, well, yeah, maybe y'all not close to the to the to the speaker mic on the laptop, maybe. Does that sound better? Say again. I said, does that sound better? Much better. Yes. Okay, okay, no problem. Microphone check. Yeah, we got <laughs> we gotta get a microphone. Yeah, we got a microphone. <laughs> okay, with this. No problem. Well, yeah, we uh, we now definitely check out. Oh. Matter of fact, I'm gonna bring it up. We're actually gonna time out right quick and bring it up on another device, and then we'll be right back with y'all then. Okay, cool. That'll give me a minute to explain to the family uh, why I'm pissed at my brother, Prince York, again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can add in a time or two. <laughs> I will, well, we'll speak on it, bro. All right, yeah. It's just, and it's, once again, it's no disrespect to the brother, but sometimes at this point, I feel like now it's because lately, from if, if for those who've seen it live, if you haven't seen it live, then you're not going to know what I'm talking about. But there was one show that you, me, and uh, Prince did. He tuned in, and uh, I discussed to him about the carbon dating. And I think he's still a little pissed about that because, like, now like every time I post something, he has something negative or something niggerish, should I say, to say about it. Yeah, um, I'm feeling that. Yeah, so it's just like, and I, even when I'm bringing scholarship or I'm bringing information, affirmation. That's one hundred percent correct, verified, and actually and proven factual by the master teacher himself. Because you had asked me a question about, uh, you had asked a question, and I posted on it one thing. And I was saying, I said Tanahisi was a name that was, you know, I gave a list of names, and he said that that was wrong, and told me to sit down. Like, really, like, and I've showed him a picture from the book that his father wrote, called Jesus Found in Egypt, and it mm. says that the original name of Sudan was what. Ta na he see. So, I don't know what what the what the problem was. He was, you know, you had to take the post down. I didn't get to see the, his last comment. Well, I had but, to take the post down because I don't as a as an OG as an elder. Yeah, I don't want to be in the mix of causing negativity when because like I said, it's something I want to read, man. That 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 uh disturbed me, and I was like, you know. A uh, couple people, you know, told me some things, uh, <clears throat> and uh, I don't want to be uh, in the middle of negativity and, and and things like that because I am hosting a show. I follow you. And drama and negativity is what sells. That's that's what's gonna pump up my check from these niggas. Mm -hmm. But like that, but I don't want to do it like that. It's not about mm -hmm. money to me like that there. No, 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 no. I no. follow you. To sacrifice you. a brother or and lose respect from, from my brother. Uh it, nah, that ain't really figuring it. I just want to give a big up to also Manus, uh brother Manus up there in Brooklyn today. I spoke to him today. Thank you, Manus. Manus uh got me straight, calmed me down, and hit me with the facts. 
So mm-hmm. with man- that's what I'm talking about. See, just because mm-hmm. you have a, a, a disagreement with your brother or your sister, or even a business disagreement, it, things happen. It could be a misunderstanding. Well, proper communication is there. You know what I'm saying? But people will get bent mm-hmm. out of shape and want to say, oh, the nation ain't nothing. Oh, I hate the master. Da, da, da. All because you whining like because like, you ain't got something. Yeah, and, it ain't, and, it, yeah. and it, it ain't that deep. You know what I mean? And yeah. if people have turned against the nation, that's their test. Because let's say they might have ordered something and didn't get it. And this has happened to a lot of people. Now, over time, I learned to chalk things off. Some things I don't chalk off. Some things I do. Depends on, one, how right I am, and then, two, the importance of the situation. Okay? And the family is real busy right now working on the freedom fight as as we should be like a beehive, should be busy. You feel me? So maturity and things, you go, you let something go. But then some things I'm going to go to war over. One thing I don't play with is my books. Wholesale or retail, I don't play with that. You know what I mean? So if I order a book, I want it yesterday. I don't play with that. You understand me? Now, things happen. Um, I, I have, I've had, has heard situations and been in situations where you order something and the family sent it and the, and the post office don't deliver it to you. They, they start fucking with your mail. Right. That has happened to different brothers and sisters in this nation who I know firsthand have told me that. So things happen and these white folks will mess with your mail. So, you know, don't get it twisted. So and even so, the point is that at the end of the day, we still family. I still got, I right. shook. Yeah, I'm not, you know what I mean? I just go about doing it a different way, but go ahead. And I follow, and I follow that for sure, you know, and it's just, it's just frustrating because, you know, I, 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 for those who do not know, um, I posted my second trailer for the new show we got coming up with my goddess, Bastet Serket Amas Rey, and um, brother Imhutep Karaye and his goddess, Ma'at Imhutep, uh, Imhutep um, called Elevate Your Consciousness. I posted my second trailer, and he had to say something negative on, on the comment. So it's just like, it's, it's not needed. So, yeah, you know, if you had, him. You know it's saying? like if you had something to say. Now, it, it's like, you know, and it seems like it's ever since the the show he he couldn't let it go and it's like you know for anybody who knows anything about the carbon dating like you you know what i'm talking about so like you like and i just told you earlier and it's like i said it's not a matter of saying the information i saying oh i'm right you're wrong it's just a matter of be, be able to get to a point where you can humble yourself you know because if your brother gives you information on something don't be so quick to say something you know that could potentially you know, hurt yourself or make you look bad if you're not 100% accurate. You know, I, I mentioned how the carbonating was not accurate, which was also just shown on the History Channel. So they talked about, for anybody who does not know, uh, high radioactivity can affect carbon dating because it's called radio carbon dating. So let's say if you have a meteor strike, right, which they already know there was a couple meteor strikes that happened in Egypt because in Tut uh jewelry, some of his jewelry, it, they have something called Saharan Desert Glass. And what that is, is where the, gra- the, the glass or the sand was heated up to a point till it was uh, vitrified and became a yellow uh, piece of glass that was actually a lot of other rulers of ancient times cut and, and became their jewelry. And even Tut Amun's dagger was made of meteorite. Dagger. So they've proven that that was, yeah, <laughs> dagger. <laughs> Interesting so word. They've proven, yes, it is. So they actually have proven that there was meteor strikes in the Nile Valley civilization, but they can't find out exactly where. So that would mean that if they, did you know what happens if you carbon date something that um, has high radioactivity? It gives you an incorrect date. Hmm. Wow. They, this, I'm going to tell you what happened. They did a test and they showed uh, how they proved it. They took a, a piece of wood that was just outside just outside of the blast zone of a nuclear test site when they did the nuclear test in the 50s. So it was just out of the range where it won't be vaporized, but it was in range where uh, it would be hit with radiation. They did a test on it. It was 1950s, 1960s. They got a test. They tested it and it carbon dated and it was said that it was 600 years in the future. Hmm. So that was 1950, and they tested it in 2017. It said 600 years in the future. So imagine if something's 17 million years old, 
and they test it where it's high radioactivity, wouldn't that give them like a 3,000 year date potentially? 2,000 year date? All right, but hold on, Council Ray. That's a good point. But uh, mm -hmm. Jess, are you back on the line? Yeah, yeah, we're up. We back on here. Oh, you sound super good, man. I right, let me let's let's <laughs> let's let's divert back to Jess because we'll get back to Prince York later. It's love. It's I shook. He know I love him. He know I would never hurt him. Yeah. But it's just when brothers bump. I'm big brother Prince York. Follow that. Your adopted big brother. I'm not. I'm Sinan. I'm not. He know that. But I'm big brother. You hear? I got love for you, fam. You know we we watch your back. You understand me? But anyway, uh, let's get to it, Jesser man. Yeah, yes. yeah, um, yeah, yeah, you hear me? We, yeah, we mm -hmm. were chiming in on uh, your boy Garfield and then the plastic knife squad. We're gonna, they don't deserve the name Dagger, <laughs> not in that <laughs> definition. They not, no, that's they sound like a bunch of moths <laughs> by definition. Yeah. They do not sound, you know, what I'm saying, like, like, you know, like they was going in with the facts, man. Like I said, they won't ask the real hardcore questions. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nobody but, wants to ask those questions. Not at all. Um, but yeah, we got to hear, take on it. Go ahead. Well, yeah, for one, we got to hear um, his interview uh, where he jumped in with Sanetta and Tariq, and as well as uh, the interview with um, Sanetta and his sisters. It's where, you know, we want to address and the perspective of where they're coming from. And this whole idea that one side of a story can be taken as truth when all you're given is hearsay and claims. And that's exactly what's happening, you know, when everybody listens to, um, let's say in, a, in that particular interview, Tariq, and mm -hmm. they take his point as fact, just by, you know, he, just because of the fact that he's telling a story without worrying about, okay, what does Dr. York have to say on the other side without saying, what is the context of this? Are there any facts to the uh, to the case? What is the context of what you're saying? All he's giving is stories, and it's you know obvious one sided bias. And like you said, they're not asking proper questions. Of, you know, like one of the first things that we always talk about is in his particular instance. He 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 claims he done to him. Why is the first response to run to the Caucasian in their system as if black people at all get justice in this system? Example, you might have to explain that one, family, because like Tariq well, is a drama queen. See, that's why they, they <laughs> ask him questions that pertain to emotionalism. He get the stuttering and uh, and they and then the people go, ooh, ah. And then see what I noticed, they always asking questions in which uh pertains to illicit sexual activity where you have to describe what happened to you and that's when all these mm -hmm. converted freaks be in the chat room oh ah, uh, ah, uh, but they really love to hear that shit so Thanks. that's what Tariq is there he's a he's a he's a he's a drama queen and i noticed he's the only victim quote that comes out he's like on a victim circuit tour now yeah. what i did was <laughs> What I did like what Sarnetta did do, because I'm criticizing his journalism, not him personally. I hope he understand that. That um, when 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 we dealing with Tariq, like I said, it, like I said, it's all emotionalism and, and stuff like that. They don't never. Uh, I forgot what I was getting to, man. Because he's so he's so dramified. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I? I, I want to chime in. This is Petty. Good. What my issue with the let me address two things. One with the with the journalism. I think one of the problems I have is that unfortunately, black people follow book that Caucasians have laid down, and and how we do just about everything. It's not in our best interest. It's not. It's it's disingenuous when you put an individual, I don't care who it is, who has a claim and they tell their story, the story may be, in this case, let's say the brother uh, Tariq, and far as he's concerned, his story is true. But when that particular story has to do with other individuals and it's just your version of a particular story, 
when you put it out there in the media, in the airways for people to hear it, they're going to formulate opinions naturally. Mm. And so what that does, it, it prejudices the story for creating opinions. This is one of the reasons why when they have jury trials, they try to ask jury, well, do you have any knowledge about the particular case? Because they want to get a bias, unbiased, because you can't really have an unbiased jury when they already formulated an opinion on a particular story when they just heard one version of the story. It, it, it naturally creates an opinion for people and it perverts the truth in, in, so, in, in so many ways. It would be more genuine when, if you're gonna tell a particular story, first have all the facts. And in, in a case that we're dealing with, with the master, it's, it's difficult to have all the facts because of the simple fact that Jews have made their claims they went to the Caucasian. The Caucasian did what he did, and he contaminated any so-called evidence that we would have had to defend ourselves. They completely just destroyed anything pertaining to us having our own case legitimately. Uh, pre preserving the so-called crime scene is essential. Yep. We can't, we can't do that when they destroyed all the evidence. Mm. They destroyed the land. They destroyed everything. So we couldn't build a legitimate case, even if we really wanted to, just having the, the scenery. We don't have any of those things that alleged incidents happen. None of that stuff exists any longer. There's a lot of things that's just been completely contaminated. So all we're left with is versions of people's stories. And the other problem is this. When it comes, <clears throat> when it comes to Dr. York, they kidnap him, and from that point on, all he's now doing is fighting the system and trying to get himself out of it. He never, how could he really ever deal with the issues of the community and what was really going on in the community when our main concern is just fighting the system? But that's, we, so, see, that, that's that part of our him. test. You know, not, not to cut you off, but I'm gonna give it back to you. But that was, that's mm -hmm. part of also part of our test to see like, well, how good is this knowledge for y'all? Can y'all really apply what I'm teaching? That's part of the test I also, because he also said, well, the reason why I allowed myself to be taken, I allowed myself to be taken was is a test for y'all. And a lot of I us are, are doing unnecessary uh, bickering and arguing, but now you, we, we, we have, that's why we have been groomed to be in charge of businesses and things like that and that and this, and it's a matter of protocol and order. Everybody's not gonna like everybody. Don't think I'm naive to the fact that uh, a lot of people out there don't like me because I do talk. Sh I do talk smack. That's what I do. Follow that. But and so you know, and I'm and, and I can tell. But at the same time, I still have I shook for you. You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, I explained before. If I saw you going down the dead of the street, I know you were known to walk in, and I know you can't stand me. But I know, damn, anything could happen. I couldn't live on my conscience if, if, if I didn't step in and help you and, and took my behind home and then something happened to you and you couldn't take care of your family. I'd be like, well, damn, I had the opportunity to didn't. You know what I mean? And that's why we always fell out of the nation because the same thing with the Native Americans, why we lost, what was that, the war of 1812? One of these wars, the Yamasee War. We lost that because all the tribes wouldn't unite because I was still mad at you because you was taking my horses and, make, and banging my daughters. And, I, and you was mad at me because you, I, we was robbing y'all corn and doing the same thing to y'all. But when the white man came in, we couldn't put that aside and fight together to, to hold the land. You see what I'm saying? That's the same right. thing right now. We bickering and arguing over um, this or that or whatever, whatever. But in the meantime, the white man has still got our man inside. And, and he's disappointed because of that. And I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying to that sidestep a lot of the negativity and the infight and what we doing because he feel that you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying so i as an og i have to take much more responsibility that means blocking your ass on facebook so we don't argue done and, deal and you know and that's why no, and that's why I'm you sorry, know go. you're fine that's that's why I'm, I'm coming back and teaching you know i'm getting a better platform you know so it can be seen by more viewers versus just 
Oh, if you friends with me on Facebook, <laughs> right? So I'm, I'm going, I'm going live on YouTube. We're going covering a multitude of topics. Like I said, I released the second trailer, showing the different topics we'll be talking about. Of course, I didn't add in survival skills as well. That's another thing that we'll be discussing, um, because these are pieces of information that aren't necessarily talked about um, as much or not a focal point. You know, a lot of times, you know, when it comes to doing our studies, we can get uh, I wouldn't say sidetrack, but we can focus more in specific parts of the information. You know, we want to hear more about risk. We want to hear about the Anunnaki. We want to hear about the ships. We want to hear about that, right? Which is cool and everything, but at the same time, we need to fo also focus on ourselves because that's what we had these sacred orders for. That's what we still have the lodge for. It was dealing with these are pieces of information that keep you in check, that are guidelines for you to make yourself, uh, give yourself a better character. And that's what, you know, I feel as though different pieces of information uh, also being healthy and being able to, to, to understand, you know, our, our, our basic fundamentals of, you know, being good people and how to treat your family and, 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 and everything like that, you know, because that's really what's important. But at the same time, other information is good, but also having information like because let's say tomorrow the grocery store is shut down how are you going to survive how, you know what i'm saying are you going to be able to go out there if you eat meat you know hunt your own animal are you going to be able to go out there and find out which fruits and vegetables is actually you know are plants that's edible and it's not going to kill you because there are quite a few things out there that can kill you but you Jesse, know what i'm saying just chime in the, the, i yeah, think go ahead, of Jesse, course. I'm like, I'm, yeah we looking for you go ahead this is petty. This is petty, but oh, right. I'm sorry. I think one one this is kind of in, in alignment with the brother saying this is the issue I see with the whole case. The and this is why I also have a problem with with the way they're reporting it on these particular black channels is this we as an organization from the from its inception, we was called the Nubian Islamic Hebrews. We existed as the Nubian nation, and then we morphed from the Nubian nation to the Nawabian nation in the 90s. So we existed as a nation of people residing here within the borders of the United States. And as a nation of people, we were building our culture, building our way of life, and working on figuring out how do we get away from the system that we live in or live under the United States for as, as a nation. All of the apparent alleged victims were members of the Nawapian nation. A lot, of them were kicked out. a lot of them were kicked out, too. <laughs> all oh, the, go back, go back. Uh, say that I again, all, I said all the alleged victims were members of the Nawapian nation at one point in time. Okay. okay? And so the my issue with them on, on this particular scenario is the fact that when we as a people, we become, we have to become responsible for solving our own problems because in order to exist as a nation, you that's one of your responsibilities is to solve your own problems. And for these individuals, this is for the audience, this is for the listening people that's listening to these guys' story. We're so quick to run to the white man to fix our problems. Most members, most students, or most Nawabians, as far as I know, when this when this particular incident uh, or when this incident became public, we only knew it was a, a thing within the Nawabian nation when we saw the master on the news being arrested and they raiding the land. And so there's thousands of Nawabians a part of this nation. And the issue was, this was never an issue that was brought up within the Nawapian nation as a whole. And we have these individuals, these victims are going all, wherever they, they're telling their story to any and anyone and then everyone who will listen to them. The problem with black people listening to this is that they feel justified in the occasion stepping into our affairs when, that is not their issue. Until we learn as a people that we have to solve our problem, because we're arguing that the white people are injustice, or not just for that matter. If we know that to be true, if we know that it to is. be true. <laughs> it is. 
<laughs> how can we? Mm -hmm. How can we? You got people like Garfield. He's on Sinatra's show. Sinatra's show is all about how the white man is the devil and his system is unjust. True. But when it comes to Doctor York, it's okay to lock up a black man. When it's not okay to lock up any black man, we have we as a people have problems within our our race as a nation of people. And only we can solve those problems. So when you go outside your nation, your nation to try to solve your problems, to and then that nation comes and destroys the nation because you give them ammunition to do it, then that that's where our issue is. And mm -hmm. this is one of the problems I think that we should really look at and address and talk about a lot more because of the simple fact that regardless whether these individuals were victims or not, they took their victimization, basically, according to them, and now they made everyone in the Nawapian Nation a victim by having the white men attack us, take our land, dis dismantle our organization, and so we're now fighting a bigger battle than what we were already fighting before. Mm -hmm. So all of us are now affected by this guy's, these individuals' accusations when they didn't take the time out to prosecute their case to Nawapians. Now, if we turned their, if we turned our back on them, then maybe they would have a legitimate argument and say, "Well, you guys turned your back on us. We tried to tell us to all, all right, Nawapians." Um, slow down, one second. Okay. Slow down. So, so I can understand what you're saying. I mean, because. Mm -hmm. You get you you getting you see yeah <laughs> you power pack now yeah right, right, let me let me like yo so what you're saying is let's say let me give you an example so I can understand mm -hmm. all right so if there was a, a so-called molestation going on what you're saying is that the alleged victim should have brought this to the attention of somebody upstate if they say it started up there or or in Georgia. Right. They should have brought this and said, look, I told because I don't never hear them victims say I told brother so and so I told sister so and so I told somebody so and so that this was happening to me. Exactly. You didn't say it, no. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, don't I, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't hear Tariq say that. He was You're on. Here saying now. I did. Oh, <laughs> please. Mutmi Noon 101 <laughs> is, is on the side for that. That's the hammer. Right. They don't really want to deal with. uh the posse up there like that there you know what i mean but anyway um right i don't hear them saying that look uh they mothers whoever saying look i went to my parents first and said that this was happening this that even on the montel jordan show when that little dizzy chick was up there uh mm -hmm. i don't know what she was shaking her head or whatever 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 see they they went on the show because they got paid to go on the show right because they broke niggas they don't they, none of them saying that okay they was like why didn't you go get help this that that and they was like well, we were all afraid and that that bs no parent in their right mind mm -hmm. is gonna let anybody especially when the man that you was teaching you was teaching you that you are god is gonna let nobody abuse their child and get away with it no parent talking about well. the past special and all of that crap Fuck out of here you know what i'm saying oh. Go ahead, man. Let me call. Oh, I'm gonna say it's um I gotta roll out. Um, but uh definitely um I agree with you said assassin for sure. But um sorry to the viewers, I do have to roll out, unfortunately. Um, like I said, check out the um before I roll the check out the latest uh trailer that I have released for our new show, Elevate Your Consciousness. Um definitely like and subscribe to that if you have not already, so you'll be able to see um uh, when we go live. Um but peace to you guys, um, Wapping Assassin, and peace, peace to you, Jesser and peace. Petty. What do you All right, family. Well, Let's get back with it. Why do, family? Let's get back, Jesser. But you see where I was going with that? That I don't hear none of these so called victims saying, hey, look, uh, someone's, you know, right? My point is that that's a response to what you were saying insofar as that, well, yeah, if they told responsible adults around them, and then all the adults in the camp, turn they back on them. Then when they went to the Caucasian or the Mikasu, then it's justified. You can say, well, no, because I came to the nation first and all you elders allowed this to continue to happen to me when I told y'all what went down. You see what I'm saying? But right. you don't hear yeah. none of that in their stories. 
they went straight to the no, Mikasu based off Jacob York's lie. And but see, and that. that that's yeah, that's the problem. What I'm what I'm saying is that there's thousands of Nawapians. Mm -hmm. He's going around right now, this brother Tariq, he's prosecuting his case at any and everyone that will listen to it. Why did he not do that with the Nawapian nation first, is all I'm saying. Because you because know we, maybe, we know he lying. That's well, why. Well, I'm just saying. I'm saying. Let's say. <laughs> let's say. Okay, you're telling the truth. Like he he wants to. He's arguing. No one wants to believe me. What I'm saying is, and this is I'm what this is for other people listening. Right. That's why I'm making a statement for the listening audience and for the people out there who's listening to him. Ask him that question. Is what I'm saying. There were Ask thousands. Him what of, well, we got two. The question, one question is the question. Go ahead. Let me hear the question. Yeah. You know I'm saying the question is there mm -hmm. were thousands of Nawapians a part of the Nawapian nation. Mm -hmm. You, according to them, they went to the white man as a body, as a group, which means they got together, they discussed their plan and how they was going to present this to the government. Okay, that's allegedly how it how it all came about. I they thought it started it off group. with um, them sending a letter to Sheriff Howard Seals in 1997, was it? Yes, that's a, supposedly how it started. But what I'm saying is they got together as a group to formulate their story and everything else, allegedly. They okay, did this right. in Florida. Right. And what I'm saying is when by them coming together, why wasn't the discussion we should take this to the Nawapian nation and, and see how this is going to be handled with the Nawapian nation, as opposed to going to our natural adversary, the Caucasian. That's oh, they, they, they were kids, man. They were kids, and they were being. Uh, you got who was the ring leader of that group? They were. Allegedly. They were young adults, a part of this as well. It wasn't just children. When you mean by young somebody. adults? Give me what I mean by children is ages twenty-one to thirty. Right. You still be a child. Because twenty-one to thirty-year-olds. I, I got that. Are but why essence. would the first? But the, but that's the whole point. All of these individuals were part of the nation, the Nawapian nation. They did. They first. It, their first thought for help is because apparently they left the land. So now you left the land. So now you're not going to be a victimized no more. Got it. So now you want to expose what happened. Why is the first thought to go to the Caucasian and not the Black nation? Well, that's not why they let, they got put off the land because I was around at that time and a lot of them well, was saying, just bad I'm not saying ass why kids. they got put off. But I'm I saying the know. reason why that thinking is not there because they they're not thinking in the in the order of ma'at. Because like I said, the first order of ma'at in that situation would be to tell your parents. I if yeah, I, right, I agree. If, if, if your parents because that's the first if you as a child, you say between the ages of 7 and 9 and your parents are on the land and you say you got molested, you would tell your mother and your father first. I and agree. now, if, if you say, that's why their thinking ain't there. That's why you see the lies and the bullshit. You mean to tell me you ain't got the heart to tell your mama and daddy something wrong, and your parents tell you what? If somebody do something to you, tell me. And now, and now the public want to act yeah. it seem like, oh, like, like uh, he's... He's so much God over people that you scared to even, how are you going to question him about doctrine, but then don't question him about basic everything days in life? Yet in, in the book right here, I read it. My brother, the extraterrestrial, she took Tariq to the hospital for uh, diarrhea. But you couldn't take him to the hospital report and go get a hospital report on uh, him being sexually assaulted. That's bullshit. And like I said, the Dagger Squad or the Plastic Knife Squad, I'm going to find a new name for them because they don't deserve the name Dagger <laughs> Squad. I, I, I'm going to work it out. Believe that. And in Sonetta TV, follow that. None of them asked the question, well, yo, man, why didn't you go to the hospital? A simple question like that. And I notice how it conveniently happens. They always go get Tariq Ta Ta Noel when Prince York bodied that Hebrew Israel like Tazariak and all them niggas. Then they go get Tariq Noel. After he bodied Garfield, what they do? They went to go get Tariq Noel. So my message to my brother Prince York is this. They don't really fuck with you, dude. 
I wish you would stop fucking with Sonda the TV. You don't really need them. Pump up your own Prince York channel. You got over 20,000 people that's going to listen to you teach. They don't fuck with you, dude. I'm just letting you know. They playing you. That's my opinion on it. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe Sonetta might show me something different. That's just my opinion. Like I said, I'm attacking the man's journalism. Notice I'm not calling him out his name, right? I'm just letting him know. I'm not calling him no pussy, no bitch, no fag. None of that. I'm attacking the man's journalism. You understand me? I'm keeping it neutral 100 like that. So if I get another nasty message on my, uh, you, you can say you can type and message, but uh, if I get another one of them rude boy messages like that, then the gloves is off and I'm going to go ham or veggie. So <laughs> getting back, my point is that all of a sudden, when we close to the master teacher's freedom, now this big ball of negativity explodes all of a sudden. You know, that's my point. When we call, and that's what he was saying. When we close to the mass and teachers' freedom, all new distractions pop up. This, that, you know what I'm saying? Because everything had chilled out for a minute. If y'all noticed, after the uh, Sarah Super City thing went down, when him and um, Young Pharaoh and Sonetta and all that, things chilled out for a minute. And everybody's just got more positive. You know, people could say they don't like Sarah Super City all he want, but he changed his style. The man is more positive. He might still cuss up a storm, but he's cussing up a storm with some more fire facts for you, more information. You know what I mean? And the one thing, yeah, I, I listen to the man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he can say what he want about Dr. York. You know what I mean? He got he gonna pay for that too. But my point is that uh the one quest one thing they did say was that why didn't Tariq Noel right seek out help from Dr. Umar Johnson? You want to know why? I know the reason why he didn't go. Oh, the yeah. he didn't go. The reason why, because Dr. Umar Johnson is a professional at dealing with young boys, especially those who have been molested and putting a man back on a square of life. Dr. Umar Johnson would have saw through the bullshit that Tariq Noel was talking about and, 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 and would have exposed his lying ass. That's why he's not going to Dr. Umar Johnson, because Dr. Umar Johnson is neutral. You know what I'm saying? Dr. Umar Johnson seek the truth. You know what I'm saying? What he with the money with they people, what he talking about, what he did for his school. I ain't got, I don't know. I donated. I ain't really asking him about it. Cause you know what I'm saying? If he on a level with that, he gonna do something with it. But my right. point is that as a a doctorate of psychology in that field, right? Dr. Umar Johnson would have asked Tariq certain questions. And he would have known that nigga was a drama queen. So if Tariq is sincere, right, they was talking about getting a GoFundMe for him, right? You know what I'm saying? Now the community got to raise up this nigga money for compensation for victims fees because uh, the Putnam County Law Division, whatever they want to call themselves, they ain't giving none of them niggas no money. They thought they was going to get that 400 grand that was on the land. Oh, they took that and them niggas ain't get a dime for compensation. Only thing them niggas got with Tariq Noel was explaining on the show as far as victim compensation was the ability to go to school. Now, how many of them victims, quote, alleged, have a doctor's degree right now? That means that you could have went to a college, law school. You could be on your way to being a doctor right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sure. All right. So I, I, uh, no, nah, I mean, the, yeah, the, the the issue that I see and what home in on, like I'm saying, is the fact that I think it's just a challenge and interesting that we as a body of people focusing and as a nation keep our minds centered in the nation because of the fact that our people are still so quick European as a solution. That's where the problem is, I would argue. I don't see how people could look to the European right now when we getting killed in the streets every day and President Trump just said, turn it up. I wonder how the rappers met the man and all them feel about him right now. But we do. <laughs> that's what I want to know. That's the, that's the problem. It, this is why an organization like Black Lives Matter exists. 
You think Black the, Lives Matter is, is a good organization for us as a people? No. What, what I'm saying is, is that to, to say that when you say, when they put the slogan out that Black Lives Matter, who are they saying that to? They're not saying that to black people. We automatically know that. So what mm -hmm. they're doing is that what they're trying to do is convince white people that their lives matter. And that's where our problem mm -hmm. is. I agree our, with that. Our problem is we, we, we continue to continue to worry about white people solving our problems. I'll go there. That's the issue. That's the issue. That's all I'm saying is that you, we as a people would never be respected as a body of people as long as we are looking for someone else to fix our issues. I'm telling you. That's just the, that's just the issue that, that we're dealing with. And so this is why, and, it's, and that's what's perplexing to me, in this particular case with these particular individuals, because these individuals were all raised in a black nation taught black conscious awareness, but when the when things went to haywire for them in their lives, their first response was to run to the white man. Yeah. Well that, now that's um, the that, that's go the ahead. complex. Mm -hmm. Outside of it, I, I'm saying outside of being a conspiracy, if we take the conspiracy aspect of it out of the picture and say how is it that they their first response was to go to the white man for a solution. Why did that? Why was that their thought? Their first thought when they That's was a, a part of a black nation, huh? That's a spell. Because I noticed he always say he always talking about how he grew up in the nation. Now, like I said, it's hard. He, he's a drama queen, man. Like I say, he that his, his sensitivity <laughs> is his books. You got to watch how he's a, he's an actor. <laughs> he's he's good, and I noticed that oh. they always meet him. And if you notice the background of of the places where they meet him at. I bet it's in the village somewhere. It don't feel like Brooklyn. <laughs> it don't feel like Uptown. Right, right, right. It feel like the village, man. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I ain't been in New York in over 20 years. Like I said, I, I, my father and mother are New Yorkers. I was born right. in Manhattan. So, right. yeah, I mean, so I, I grew up up in the city. But as far as, you know, I, that feel, I'm like, it feels in the village. He would, but he could fit in in the village because the village, <laughs> that's that type. Of environment is loose, it's hormone sexuals, he hormorphodized, hormorphodized. The village is weird, it's, 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 it's a mug, man. So, you got all it's a melting pot, and so that's a spot where you can blend in, right? And the only way you're gonna be noticed as something different is if you have on a Nawapi man suit, or if you really just all out, you know, you can't wear no Muslim garb nowhere no more without getting bum rushed in New York, you know what I'm saying? You might, you know, what I mean, you can't <laughs> try it if you want to, right. You understand me? But but uh, my point is that, you know, that thinking, you're right. That's part of the spell of the Viet then. And now, you know, but our people have to realize this. When you say black lives matter, right, that's another bone I wanted to pick. We need to be saying that to each other. Not Munwapu versus Munwapu, where our beefs is mostly talking. I, I never raised my hands at, at my brother Prince York or Kansu or, you know, those are my brothers and I have heated arguments with my brother, but I never, they never raised their hand at me and I never raised that. See, I walk away now. I'm too old for that shit. I got things to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, when you get a certain age, man, you know, and little brother starts to jump up like his nuts is big, you be like, you know what? Maybe your nuts are big. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you have that. And I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and let you, and let you, and let you fall on your face and do what you do. You know what I mean? So, cause you at that point in life right now where you don't need Big Brother no more. Not to that extent, but why am I arguing with you is what I'm screaming. So, you know what I mean? So that's part of the spell of the Viet Thin. And African people in general, right? Uh, if, like for instance, even on the in the hood on a day to day basis, it ain't like, you know, if if, if you get the what's the first you you are taught call the police, call the police. You know what I'm saying? If somebody put their hands on you, call the police. You know what I mean? It ain't like if somebody put their hands on your daughter, you're going to say, well, look, I'm talking about as monks capital. You, you're going to be like, oh, well, we I need to have a community discussion about this. No, you're going to be like, you put your hands on my daughter, you're going to be ready to do something. You know what I'm saying? Now, amongst Manwapu is different. We're supposed to be, like you said, nation, tribe, 
where we quote supposed to have the council of 24 elders where if somebody has a problem and a lot of us have problems with each amongst each other as nuwapians Manwapu, where we need the council of 24 elders to step in and, and, and say some things and do this and do that but what are the real consequences are are are, are we really um sub subject to the law well we're getting of the Manwapian, Nuwapian law. Well, we're getting to that point because now with our tribal IDs, let's say for instance, if you keep violating Nuwapian laws, the family, the 24 elders can vote that your tribal ID be rescinded. And then Ambassador Yoko just take you off the records and your, your tribal ID ain't, is, is, is no good. So if the shit hit the fan and your tribal ID, you try to present them to these white folks or whatever that you're of, of a nation or a tribe and they'll be like, eh, uh, this is coming back not valid. Yeah, you can go to the concentration camp. You understand? Right. So right. that would weigh more into you that there's consequences for not obeying the Wapian law. You follow that? And until you have that type of, in other words, until a person, quote, for lack of a better word, respects or fears the consequences of being put out of the tribe, then, you know, I, I would hurt my heart if they was just vote and say, well, you know, brother Tom, mm -hmm. we, 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 we sick of you. <laughs> you talk too much shit on the radio show. You ain't getting enough work done. Look, you out of here. And I'd be like, oh, my goodness. Because I, I don't got nowhere else to go. Right. You know understand me? So that would hurt me. So in other words, co conforming to the Nuwapian law or obeying the Nuwapian law, living the Nuwapian law, I don't know if conforming is such a good word, that is, is where it's at where we're headed right now you know what i'm saying because you could be an african all of a sudden you over there messing up and you'd be like you know what ship it back to america <laughs> you ain't gonna want that man you feel what i'm saying so so I, that, yeah, I, yeah. yeah i'm just saying the master made that argument in court himself he was he was explaining to them that they did not have the jurisdiction to try him because he was of his own tribal nation this is true, but that, now here the thing. And the white man don't respect no paperwork that we do. I hear a lot of people talking about we filled out the paperwork wrong, all this paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. I'm a sob in that paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Look, man, let me tell you something. You can know all the jazz you want to, but like like the brother was saying, they, they tore up his tribal identification, this, that, that, and the third, and they bum rushed him anyway, knowing who he is. No, I'm not Follow talking that. about that. No, I, I'm not. We already know that the. The Mukasu doesn't respect nations. That's what the invasion. No, they don't respect no paperwork. Right. This this is no. what the invasion of Iraq is about. The invasion of uh, Nicaragua. I mean, the list goes on. So that's right. not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is is that the master identified himself as a part of our own tribe, and he argued that this is an issue for us to deal with. We as black people still don't comprehend that. That's what I'm arguing. Now, we, we Manwapu or we Nagaru? We Nagaru. We yeah, Nagaru. That's a difference and, because the Nagaru and, are not a part of the we and us. I know. But I got go that. And, but, and, <laughs> or, and, and there are, and uh, unfortunately, there are Manwapu because all, mm -hmm. like I said before, all of the alleged victims were at one point a part of the Nawapian nation. They left at whatever time they left, but they was a part of the Nawapian nation. And right. they, in their brain, that's where they went. And so when, when Nagato listens to their story, they're thinking, yes, he's, he, he deserved to be in prison. He deserved what he gets. And they're forgetting, black people are forgetting that the white man, one is the master deceiver. If anybody should be doubted is the white man and anything he has to say when it comes to us. But mm -hmm. we forget that so easily. True. So easily we forget and we turn on each other, forgetting that the white man has a history in setting up black leadership. Woo. That's what they do for a living. That's what they do in their pastime is disable black organizations. They admit this. This is not this is not conspiracy stuff. These are actual facts. And so All on but, that's right. Huh? Because all now they people territories verifying what you just said it's, about them. It's covert it's CIA right. and all that, right? But my but this is what I'm saying. So you listen to an individual like Garfield, 
who's supposed to be intelligent. Supposed I hope to he's be. listening. Who's supposed to oh, be he listening? <laughs> he's he supposed does. to be intelligent, but yet he says he believes this individual story just hearing one side. So what that tells me is that you could never be a responsible person in any nation because you can't make any judgments by hearing one side of the story. And the second thing, he agrees with the master teacher being locked up. So apparently he agrees with the prison industrial complex that finds all kinds of reasons to lock up black people. He didn't agree with the prison industrial complex when it came to Buju Banton being locked up. I'm <laughs> glad Buju free right now, right? Well, but when well, Buju got, like got mistreated, when Buju got mistreated, all of a sudden this is J.A. all the way. You understand me? <laughs> yeah, you know I, mean? I, get you. I get you. He's obviously, so he, it, might be a, it might be a Jamaican thing. Who knows what his reasons but now, but are. My point is that those people like Garfield, right? Uh, are not really in the, into the interest, not really interested for the people, as they would say, for the truth. He's interested in saving his ego because he just got bodied on national television. You follow <laughs> that? That's all what this is. He's hurting from that ass whooping that the son gave him. Follow that? And now their way of retaliation is to go get Tariq Noel. As if this drama queen crying on national tv is going to get you to sympathetically feel for him and i yeah. don't because i've seen this i've seen the dog and pony show before that's what he do you know what i'm saying his hooks <laughs> so with garfield if he's really interested in the truth of the people for the people let me get, get your bob marley on nigga. ask that nigga tariq noel where's the hospital reports and to produce them because he always wants references we want references that's what he said all right <laughs> give us some hospital report references how is it rude boy that you can go to the hospital as a child for diarrhea <laughs> but you can't go but you can't go you can't go for sexual misconduct against your body and get the report why not there show me <laughs> Show me Garfield. Sarnetta. Damn right, it's an argument. This is the assassin <laughs> you're dealing with. You ain't dealing with these with these with these regular old niggas out here. I play chess. I do this. I think. Like the master teacher taught me to do. Think. That's why when people see, when people see a lot of people when they when they go against the grain, all right, like I'm not dissing consul. But Kansu has a certain, Kansu might not agree with some of the upsets there, whether it's enzymes, I, I forget what that shit is. I, I don't hold grudges. I just, whatever. I look at it with more insight and patience. You know what I'm saying? And look at things when, when people, not just him, but anybody, a lot of people might, might doubt things and this and that and that and the third. See, I don't have to doubt the master teacher or the doubt that the updates come from the office. Why? Because most people, see, most people say, well, that's a believer. I'm like, no. Write something like it then. Prove to us. Remember, it was it was it was it was a class back in the day where the brother was asking about the sahuk. I must listen to that a tape a thousand times. And he was uh -huh. asking, you remember that? He said, he said, he said, I'm yeah, not asking you. He said, prove to me that this is the sahuk. Right? He said, I did. The message responded, I did by putting it out. You know what I'm saying? He said, if you doubt it, then write something like it. And he said, well, why would I do that? Because that would be deception. He says, you're going to prove a point. You're going to prove that I made it up. So the point is that if you want to prove that anybody made up the part and the actual facts, you write something like it. You put out a book and let's see if it go worldwide. Put actual facts and part on it and say it's new from the master. Whatever. It's funny you now, bring that up, too, because in that ahead. same conversation with him, he was saying one of the biggest issues that we have as a people is this uh, negative mind and self-hate towards each other. Because he also brought out, it's like, we don't question any other race or culture the way we question each other. And it's like, you know, something we always talk about, we're so quick to turn on each other. Well, and, name you know, me another, the problem is in. Yeah, well, name me another race and culture who's been in slavery for 400 years. Yeah. I, I'm sick of them talking about the Willie Lynch letter. If that's if the old that like if that's is Willie Lynch, we, like we under the spell of Willie Lynch or something. I'm like, yo, man, y'all, 
It's deeper than that. And a lot of African people have, have egos. Everybody wants too many chiefs and not enough little Indians. Too many egos running around the so-called intellectual community. What I consciously I call it the so-called intellectual community. Because like I said, only the intellectual amongst us is really gonna help and save us. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? So you're right. Um there is a spell on us insofar as how we run into the white man and everything. Now we run to the white man and call the police on the incident, the white man shooting the person who called him too. Yeah. <laughs> this is happening out here, man, and it's gonna get worse. So my first thing is for African people who talk in that, sh that jazz, Black Lives Matter, say that to each other first. Because even though the white man is killing us in these streets, we're killing each other at three to four times the rate more than the police are. Nobody wants to address that. Where all that black power shit at now? You know what I'm saying? Who's marching for the mother that lost her child that got shot over $5? With a and, and all that marching is BS. So here's the thing, how you can get some of the white folks to get up off our ass for a minute. You got to think. They value money. Straight up. So I'm not going to say boycott, the B word. That's too strong. What I'm going to say is, <laughs> that's my Chappelle there. What I'm going to say is, yeah. stop spending with them. Stop spending with them. Meaning this. All these, I hear all these... This is what I'm talking about, what, what pissed me off. I hear more African people talking about boycotting the NFL over Colin Kaepernick. No disrespect to Colin Kaepernick. Most people say he's not black. I say he is African. He just has an Irish name. He was adopted or whatever, but he looked African to me. That's an Afro enough to me. So I welcome Colin Kaepernick to the African family. And I admire what he's doing. However, I'm not going to boycott the NFL over you. You know what I'm saying? Because there's, in other words, the NFL is not on my on my my priority list. Because if if you could say we're gonna boycott the NFL until people stop killing other African people, including each other and the police, then I'll say you know what that might got a point. If you say we're gonna we're gonna we're not gonna spend at Walmart, we're not gonna spend at Target. All you African economic majors with all these. Money plans on Facebook every day. We need the economics. We need the black spin. All these black Wall Street dudes, yet none of them is coming up with a program, right, to stop spending with with certain Caucasian people who keep killing us in this in in, in the dog in the street like dogs. All right, that's one. Two. All right. Uh, now that you when you get that in place with the stop spending thing, none of these so-called intellectual African leaders here have the balls to seem to put together and bum rush the congressmen and the senators in the district where the shootings happen. I see stupid African people, stupid ass niggas, constantly want to get some picket lines and march down there in City Hall and get pepper sprayed and get your ass beat by the police for protesting, right? Other ethnicities, Jewish, uh, Caucasian, whatever, they write letters to their congressmen and they get together and go, you know what? We're going to vote your ass out of office because you're not attending to the needs of us in your district. And they vote them out of office. And these congressmen and senators like these $200,000 jobs. They like the vacations. They like the house, right? Why aren't we getting together and bum rushing congressmen and senators, which would have a much more effect? We, we might not can't affect the presidential election, but we can affect a congressional and a senatorial election. You best believe that. So. Where's the, where's, the, where's the fight? The intellectual fight. And you can do that without uh, getting pepper sprayed and bum rushed and shot at on the streets. It's a letter to a congressman. That's step one. You know what I'm saying? Start bum rushing these places and bum rushing these congressmen and senators where these shootings go down. You understand me? But niggas too scared to do that. But they ain't too scared to jump up each other, any other space and shoot each other over $5 or a piece of chicken or some Jordans or something stupid like that. You feel me? Yeah. Our people, and unfortunately, our people are sick and they, they're still under the spell of self hate. And unfortunately, they find it easier to abuse each other. And this is a process. We weren't like this when we came to this country. This, this is a gradual process where each generation became worse. So, from when you look at 400 years ago, obviously, we were more cohesive as a people, but we was under key and chain of the Caucasian 
The only reason why the Caucasian was able to release us of the chains is because at that point, our minds were under control. So he didn't have to have us on the ball and chain any longer because at that point, the African slave wasn't African anymore. They had no identity of who they are. And it just got worse. And so through the narcotics, the drugs, the alcohol, mm -hmm. the poverty that white people kept, kept us in from, from generation to generation produced what we have today, which is why black people don't have value for their own lives. And so that's a process that, that the Caucasian and his world did to us. Again, I repeat, we didn't come from Africa behaving like this. The way we're behaving today is the conditions of what they've done to us through their through their system and and their system of extermination, which is what they're about for our people. And so, it I only the, only the intelligent among us. This is the purpose of of Wunwa, is the intelligent among us who can comprehend the problem and focus on the solution for the masses of our people, because the masses of our people, unfortunately, they just can't figure out the trick. They're, they're too quick to blame each other and attack each other, not realizing they're being used as pawns in this in this massive game of deception on our people. So what you're saying so, is we constantly falling for the plantain in the in the tailpipe. Well, yeah. What I'm saying is, unfortunately, <laughs> a lot of our people they're, they're just not smart enough uh, to watch the assassin. They mm. they're just not enough to see the trick. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like they 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 admit that the CIA admits of throwing putting guns in the South Central LA. Basically, they just suppose they put a whole bunch of guns. And this was according to the Crips, the founder of the Crips. He said he said that's how they first got their guns, is they gave it to them for free, and these brothers took those guns and used and began to use it on each other. Instead of using it on the white man, who's your real enemy. We began to use it on one another. And so that's an intelligence issue. White mm -hmm. people argue that black people are not smart. And I'll say they have a point that you dumbed us down through the conditioning of, of racism and white supremacy over 400 years of abusing our people. You got our people to a very docile state. And so it, it, it will take a small elite among us as a people to find solutions to the problem. This is why they had to get the master teacher because they saw what he was doing and how he was educating so many masses of our people, thousands upon thousands of us, where we would become a force in the world for change, to correct these problems through using high reason and a high level of intelligence. And they had to find any means to, to, to divert that project, to divert what the master was doing, raising a conscious awareness of our people. This is mm -hmm. this is the only reason why you have so many people like like your Ricks of the world and your Chuck Morgans of the world. The only reason why these guys turn turned on us is because of the fact of the master being kidnapped and it crushed so many individuals. It crushed their concepts, it crushed their dreams, it crushed their realities. And and I will argue that they're hurt and they're lashing out. And they, and they feel betrayed and deceived because they really thought that we was going to win this battle in the year 2000 and the years to come and to see that the, the, the disagreeable ones were able to do what they did to us. And, and so a lot of individuals turned on us, unfortunately. They turned. Well, they they turned have, that's the test. That's the test. That's the test. That is, I agree. That is a serious test. I, I, yeah, it still it bewilders me because I've I've been around brothers who've been around in the information almost almost as long as me for twenty some odd years, and they turned their back on the master, and it 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 was bewildering. Can was you bewildering. still stick to the family even though you don't get your way? You well, I mean? I'm a spoiled yeah. brat. In this in this nation, I've been spoiled. Yes, I have. I've been well taken care of. I have elders that take care of me. I've had certain sisters take care of me. I got a big family of my Wunuwapian family. My blood right. family is not down with Wunuwap at all, but my blood, my 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 uh, my Wunuwapian family, I've been spoiled. So right. there are times like an angry child, I will scream out and lash out when I don't get things my way. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, you know what I mean? Because like I said, we like I said, we all are big children in the Nuwapian playground. That's just an analogy for how I look at it. And we in there with each other and we fighting 
his order and things like that. But it's all a Nuwapian playground. See, we in the master's house, we in the master's garden, and he's, he's watching his children acting up. And you know, what I mean, some of us are leaving the garden never to return, and others of us are staying there. They're trying to say, I'm big brother, you little brother, and all this and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, that's the test. Now, should the test have gone on for this long? No. Yet it does because amongst us now are still black devils. That's just the reality, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And let, let me. And I, yeah, go ahead. I want to chime on another thing, and this is on a little switch on the on the subject, but it's the same. That's all good. We got gears. Uh, it's it's about the discussion that Amanu we had with the brother, with that brother. Uh, the Dak, yeah, Gog, Gog, yeah, 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 he is not the Dagger Squad. I ain't found the name for him yet, but Lord, oh, he's a cat, and he, he, what he's doing, he's using that, that the Tarnoon brothers and their argument about the word Nwapple. And I think this okay, is something, this is something, night, but go ahead, yeah, this go is ahead. something we, we should stress more and more. I, I, I would argue, uh, Prince York actually, I feel he did a good job in trying to address it, but I think for whatever reason, obviously these guys had a had a problem comprehending what, what, what Prince York was saying. And then he was saying there was no, no documentation, no facts to support what he was talking about, about Napata. But regardless of using the, 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 the terminology of Napata as where we get the name from, the fact of the matter is, is that, and this is people, they forget we called ourselves the Nubian nation. We called ourselves the Nubian nation from day one. In fact, I got I got books that we got. I have books that go back to 1970, and I have publications. And we, in fact, we have in in the publications of books that we printed up. It was one book I think I seen that we printed up in 1968, and it was called "Presented by the Nubian Islamic Hebrews." Mm. So my point with my point is this: we look at the word Nubian and you look at the, no, the word Nawapian, it's the same word. It is. It's a different. It's a. It, the only difference is is an added. It's an added syllable to that particular word. So wow. when he brings up when he brings up the 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 record label that's calling themselves the Wapple, the Nawapo record label, and he's claiming Doctor York got it from these guys' record label basically in 1974. That well, he doesn't. Funny. He does. What well, he doesn't understand that we were calling ourselves Nubian back in the '60s, and that's on well, record. What Garfield never asked was, well, if you say Doctor York got it from these dudes on his record label, where did the dudes on the record label get it from? That's all. Yeah, that's a whole. That's a whole. That's a whole other discussion. You're absolutely right. And not only that, the guys on the record label. The question then comes: What does the word mean? Did they ever explain it? Do they have a doctrine that they teach about what a Nawapian is? Mm -hmm. And what you will find out is that none of these individuals had a doctrine, including this so-called uh, Eugene Brown that these Tarnoon and them like to talk about. But yeah, I, I think that's something for the people, for those who are listening, to put that word out, that no Nubian and Nawapian is the same thing. We never changed that name. It, it, it morphed and upgraded. We added a syllable, but for the most part, we've always been the same organization. Well, that's what that's what Constance was breaking down there. in the behind the nine ball lessons on page 16. The word Nupu is there. This is true. It is. It is in the nine ball. The word there it is. Word and that was printed in the 60s. Or if, if you got the date 1971, that's still before 1974. So it was there, right there. You know what I mean? That's a, that's that's what we were saying. Show me some references where the word Nuwapu was in existence before 1974. Well, there's one of them. See, Prince York <laughs> didn't show him that. You know what I'm saying? But he's, he's, he, he took him another way. The uh, Garfield was man enough to admit, I will give him this. He was man enough to admit that he was not a linguist. That's why Prince York was so frustrated and trying to explain things to this fool, because he's not a linguist. So the intelligence level right there, and that's another thing why our people are, because in other words, the master teacher taught us to go into the languages of the scriptures. And when I became a better teacher, when I started going into Revelation, into the Greek, and then that Arabic, and I started going into the languages, I realized I got them now. You know what I mean? And so and, and I was the type, I just took the books and whooped ass. I never had to do no research. I whooped, I whooped niggas asses on the street who came with that just off the books alone. 
And then right. he get them, and, and this was before the math. Then the master teacher came out with the the saying, "Don't believe me, check it out." In the nineties, I didn't hear that in the eighties or the seventies. Right. I heard, "Don't believe me, check it out." In the nineties, that's when I first heard it. You know what I mean? It was like you know when the right because when the right knowledge series came out after Casper was dropping the robes. You know what I'm saying? I, I was all lost because the first scroll I read was the first language, right? Y'all remember that? The first language that was in the yep. '90s, yeah, yeah. and I was like, "What is this?" You know what I mean? I got you know, I, I, and you could, you could, you know what I mean? And and a brother was trying to tell me about how Abraham was in existence and all, and I, I wasn't even listening to him because I couldn't even comprehend because I was so into Islam, Allah, Allah, all this. You know what I mean? But then when we, we dropped that, and he was telling brother when he was doing a 19 class upstate, he was coming up out of these robes and all this and all that. And I was like, well, what is right knowledge? What is this? I remember going to class. I didn't understand what was going on. It took me, <laughs> it took me at least five years to understand what was really going on at the you know what I'm saying? People, you had to like, you know, like I said, even now, if you said a black, if you said describe Jesus or you know, close your eyes, and look at him, I still get that seven to one twenty-seven AD and a black man with an afro in my mind. Right. You know what I'm saying? I do. <laughs> So that, that's one level of the spell that was broken. I don't go back to the Caucasian Jesus. I'm going back. And now you find out that, well, this black Jesus, it, it, it blew my mind. My, my, one of my partners back in, up in D.C. back in the day, Sabir. Sabir, we, we used to go to the 19 classes. And me, Jahar, Nasir, all of us, we was, we was back hustling. So right. when Sabir came back from class, Sabir was like, uh, talking about, we was talking, Sabir was like, yo, man, Jesus never existed. So I was like, Jesus, what, what do you mean? What? I was like, well, how do you explain the missing years of 1 to 33? I could not put that all together. And this was back then in the 90s. But I didn't doubt it. I just didn't understand it. You see what I'm saying? So it takes years when the master teacher drops something new, right? It takes at least over a year for a comprehension. And then a student teacher to be able to absorb, explain it to people takes another two. Right. You know what I I'm saying? Agree. Yeah, because Mentu Hotep at the time when Right Knowledge came out, him, uh uh Yadalahi, rest in peace, uh a couple other brothers, was very few people were able to explain the right knowledge series back then. Mentu was one of them, and he helped me tremendously. We're breaking that spell of Islam because when we would drop, you know, I remember at, when we stopped going to Juma. Well, I wasn't going to Juma anyway, so <laughs> I just never did. Juma was never when I moved into my man. I didn't go to Juma Fridays. I was grinding straight. Ask brothers right. back then; they'll tell you about me. My thing was when when Juma ended. Right, Cass was whining and crying so hard that he re, re, he reinstated Juma temporarily. Cause Cass was like, you know, and you, I don't know if y'all remember that, but I do. Cause I was like, man, no, I, I said, we ain't gotta go to Juma no more. Oh, that, and you know, I remember I saw brothers, um, when I first saw a brother drink a beer, right? Right. Okay. Right now, we out the robes now, we going in the country gear and I saw brothers just, you know, in other words, you took the chain, the religious chains of Islam off. But the point was that to see if you still had the mental discipline that the school taught you, Yet still be yourself out here in the world, you know what I'm saying? Right. And when you took, and when you took the that off, I seen people go back to weed, beer, whatever. You know what I mean? But now I didn't judge. You know what I'm saying? Because now, what's wrong with uh, 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 if you in the WAP and even now to me, if you choose to, what's wrong with you drinking a beer sociably or a glass of wine without you getting drunk? There's nothing wrong with that to oh. me. But right. people will look at you in the religious state of mind and go like, oh, you going to, where am I going? I ain't going to hell, nigga. I ain't going to heaven either. Well, see, Ooh, what? Yeah, and, 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 I'll, and I'll chime in on that. I, I think <clears throat> this, this goes to the complexity and the brilliance of our organization that you have to live it in order for people to begin to comprehend it. And that's why mm -hmm. I think they're having a hard time comprehending what does it mean to be a student of the master teacher? Because I, I, I had the same experience when we weren't answers no more. It took me a minute to come out of my jolly bed. Took me a minute. That's right. Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't comprehend it. And it's like, wait a minute, I, I don't pray to Allah no more. 
it, it, that was that was hard. And I knew a lot of people that fell off. They just couldn't do it. But they then some not, people, were, you, some people were so secure, and that, that's why you got people running around talking about their answers today because they were secure in that school. Yeah, afraid to take the next step forward, which is <sighs> responsibility. Yeah, I hear I hear a lot of people talking about we God, yeah. but all that oh, are we really? No, we don't have the power yet. That's just me. I'll speak for myself. No, right. I'm not a God. I'm not a God in so far as. I, I, I'll say I'm in the image and in the likeness of the throttle, my parents, which is God, but I don't have no barataric gland. Follow that. I ain't got no power right now. So, right. you know, I'm still a student teacher learning a language. We can't uh, do certain things. We don't have no rituals. So in that aspect of saying I am God, I can't create a gnat. You remember that? Create a gnat if you're right. a law. I can't do that. And you realize that you can create a net now with, with, uh, with a, a biological experiments. If you was in a lab, you can create a net with got cross uh, cells like Zozer did. That's how you create a net. Right. So, right. So in that aspect, no. But in so fact, as far as the image, Miss War, yeah, I'll go there. But we are we are far from demonstrating uh, that power because we're still like childlike because we're still bickering and da 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 da. Here it is. The one who taught us all is his freedom is on the line, life is on the line, and we still like a bunch of kids in the playground arguing over what daddy said instead of, like you said, living what daddy said. Now, I'm not concerned with the slanderers. They're going to get theirs. Yeah, you know I mean, we just have to stay on our business as far as freeing them is concerned. That's the only thing that really matters. So I'm not going to argue with my brother's and sisters on Facebook, this, that, that, this, yeah, I block you. So what? You still my family. We just not gonna argue on Facebook because I'm I'm older. I ain't got time to be arguing with 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 with, with cats in their twenties and their thirties on Facebook. That make us both look stupid. And I will agree with this with Prince York. He said that he told me. He said, but this is his wisdom at a young age. He told me he was like saying, yeah, it's a bad look when we when we argue and all that because slander is like Tar and all them. They wait and sit at the door and look for us to argue and bicker and things like that so they can use it as ammunition, more fuel for the fire to keep the slander going. You, you follow what I'm saying? So his wisdom was right on that. So now I'm acting on it. No, I'm not gonna argue with no Manuapu on uh, social media. I'm just gonna dismiss you and hopefully you'll dismiss me and we can meet on other forms and formats and we might get along on it. Like I said, I might catch you on Google Plus and we we kicking it now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because our Facebook experience, you know, we learn from that. So uh getting back to what you were saying, family, about um us running to the Mikasa to solve our problems. I agree with you 100 on that. That's a very, very valid point. And like you said, like okay, we're in the um what how you call it? It's in the it's in the right knowledge book, not only in the right knowledge book, it's in the R true. Roots book. Yeah, the ev re revolutionary cycle, what we call evolution in reverse. And now, after 400 years of slavery, we are reversing the polarity in our mental conscious and our genes. We're making, we're, in other words, we're breeding better now. You know what I'm saying? To all the Mu'minun who grew up, the, for lack of a better word, the Mu'minun who coming up now, their children are not going to be up under the spell of Leviathan at all. And their children's first language is going to be Nawapui. See, right. so it's going to take at least what four generations of children, Karadu, to reverse back. So you're right, right, it is a process. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is the war. This is the battle. The dragon mm -hmm. knows it, but it's the time is up. It, it's 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 done. It's just right now for us to get ready. As the master said, it's about turning yourself inside out. And outside. And, developing yeah. it. and so that's, that's what they're afraid of, that whole great and dreadful day of the Lord. That's the dread that they dread, us taking back rulership. And they're trying their it's, best to forestall it, but it, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. Oh, yeah. All, okay. What's the business? All these people are just, I'm sorry. I was going to say, what's the business on the... um. The encyclopedia project, y'all. What's going on with that? That's a nonstop thing for us. 
uh, we, as as you know, we have this the site. And for those who don't know, it's nuple.org is the is the website. And uh, right now, what we're focused on is the in social media because it's two it's two aspects to the project. It's the encyclopedia, and it's our social media site, which is similar to Facebook. And that's what's going to help finance the project, basically, because what we're doing is working on a database for for black people to be able to search for black businesses worldwide. With them being able to do that, they can connect with black people with products and services all over the globe. We can start supporting each other more economically so we can, as they say, uh, support the black dollar, as you hear. So we're working on that database. We're working on getting people to, to become members of the of the social engine because there's a fee. It's it's like nineteen dollars. It is nineteen dollars a year, and that's like I said, how we're going to fund the encyclopedia project because we are slowly but surely doing our research for for the project. Uh, it's 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 just ma it's massive. It's huge. And we we tell people to go to the site because we have a lot of content on the site as it is. But to check it out, see what we're doing. If they have any questions and concerns, they definitely can email us in regards to the to the particular project where we are with it. Okay, that's love. Uh, family, I'm gonna read something here from Ambassador York, and then we're gonna get up out of here, man. That's what's up. All right, because I enjoyed y'all tonight. I appreciate y'all chiming in and, and giving a different perspective so people just don't think I'm tripping. <laughs> <laughs> they know I'm crazy. I am. I am a little off a little bit, man, but I'm crazy about my family, see? I use the English language, too. So, you know what I'm saying? And one thing for sure, two things for certain, you know, I, I always love Munwapu and, and our family. Like I say, at the end of the day, you know, I even talk to people that disagree with the current doctrine as it is. But at the end of the day, are we family? And they say, yeah, OK, cool. So you know, that's all I need to know, that you know that this white man is not like when these police come raining down on us, they're going to say, oh, well, you guys are, you worship Anu. You, you guys are cool. We're, we're just going to knock those upside. They don't do that, man. They, they, they come after all Africans. You know what I'm saying? So you know. With that, we're going to read up something from Ambassador York. He's saying, Munwapu, we have to get out of these, out of defense mode and get into offense. They are trying to kill us and destroy us. Start punching for our father's freedom and our freedom. Don't let these slanderers get a second to breathe. When they surface, you destroy them with nine ether. Don't let the devil divide and conquer. If we have to put our lives on the line as men to protect our nation, so be it. They have no purpose. They have no life, no power. Stop letting them cause division in our culture, in our nation, in our world. We have the master of heaven and earth with us in flesh. We must free him or we will die with these Negroes when this place goes up in flames. No other option. And one last thing I want to read is, uh, like I said, this is the one that made me you know, realize that you know, it's no, I ain't got time for arguing with, with, with family no more. We have a disagreement. We can't resolve it. I'm moving on, man. It says, as far as Baba, he feels he's been dead for years now. You see, when your manhood is taken and the race of devils rule your everything and those who should have or could have changed that live in interferes, you learn to accept your fate. That place he is in is a tomb. He watches the walking dead each day. Men who lost hope and just waiting for their spirit to depart their flesh because of that, he is reminded that he too is one of them. Yet he has something over them. He knows why and who did this. And when the brothers in Europe got the priest of the mountain to perform the rites ritual on the mount and he felt healed, strong, then he saw the Liberian paperwork, he was born again. It showed in his physical appearance and his works. Yet what they did was depend on all of you to link to the chain a strong spiritual fence that protected him and created a path to his freedom. All they needed was for uh, us all not to let the powers of fear and anger overpower us, to break the chain, and it was good. 
Yet from the inside of us, the six ether forces rose up and the power of lust and luster shine forth. Arguments over the mark of the beast, money. All will say that it is not. Yes, it is. All that was going on. One day he was outside under the sun feeling good. Things were happening for him. He was standing there in the yard and was struck by a negative force and fell to the ground out cold. No one ever came for him to help him. When he finally came to and made it back to his cell, laying on his bed, he knew then that we had all let the power of evil and the chain was broken. Oh yeah, all let the power of evil in and the chain was broken. He knew something went wrong. Why? Well, it's clear we all fell back into got to get what I can get now or I don't trust this one or that one or girls wanting to run the streets, still all about the money. Baba knew what had happened and let me not say, not for the first time, but again, as he got close to his freedom, we all let him down. We have to make this right. We have to, we have to be all on one path for our master teacher's freedom. All right, so I overstand that. And, and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, as an OG, I'm supposed to be responsible, man. And I'm not going to be responsible for negativity going back and forth on the internet. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not going to do it. But I am going to maintain the deal with slanderers because that's what I do. And, uh, you know, put out positive information with things going on throughout the family through the week. You know, we got a big parade coming up. Uh, Ambassador York should be addressing the nation shortly. Um, and so far as what's going on, Attorney Broussard has got things going on. We have to just focus on those things and get back in the loop. Oh, yeah. And the uh, Freedom Fast uh, starts tomorrow. I think it's a liquid fast for eight days. That's going down. So that's more important than even what these slanderers is talking about. But once again, we I just we just had to address them now. Now I'm through with them. Okay. And let's get back on to teaching because despite all what's going on, people still come to Wunuwapi and Munwapu for answers. You know, they still coming to us because they know our doctrine is profound. If our doctrine was pseudo and all this and all that, why are people slandering us from all over the world we, we, we get bum rushed harder than christians muslims and jews put together you know yeah so, well, we definitely gotta stay you know stay with our mission uh we have the answers we are still the answers we have the answers and we need to move with our shook and definitely yes. help the people we had a solution definitely and, and on that note family yes i shook we will move with our shook all right, much love, family. Let me give a shout out to the chat room, man. Nina Sherelle, I don't know who you are, but you is on the science, sister. <laughs> this is in the chat room is no joke. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. See, these are the type of sisters who are on the facts that that's how brothers we get, that's our balance. That's how we get chin check. When a sister just bah, 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 hit you with facts, see, that's what'll shut me up. You know what I'm saying? A sister like that right there. So big up to you, sis. You feel me? I'll be seeing you. I'll be listening to you. Uh, Amun Kalekas, Wadu family. Mahatwi, big up to you. Uh, infamous Nubi King, Rahobat. Uh, Kansu Ray, big up to you for coming through. We're looking forward to your new show. All right, Don Kusta Don, what it do? All right, and that looks like all we had come through tonight. Nine Rivers, Rahobat. Mustafa, Rahobat. All right. Uh, Paul Young, Rahobat. All right. Uh, I just want to give it. I missed a lot in the chat room, man. Geronimo. Geron, yeah, Ger, Geronimo Moore Bay, Rahobat. Uh, and uh, Wap Wawet, Rahobat. All right. It was a lot of people came through, man. I just wasn't paying attention to the chat room tonight. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, family, Ashuk, Nafir Gada. We out. What do? What's up? What do? <laughs>